Greenies! This is Red is Power, and today's special look is at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Collector Series Classic Party Wagon by Mega Bloks. Here is the front of the box. And here is the back of the box. Here is a quick look at the three minifigures included with this set. We'll go more into detail about them in a little bit. Also included in this set is a bag of parts, another 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 bag of parts. And another bag of parts. Also included is the set of instructions to help building this set. The number here indicates the first portion of the building set. And the second number here indicates the second portion of the building set. With all the pieces here in place and the instruction manual, let's go ahead and put together the party wagon. Let's take a quick 360 look at the completed classic party wagon. Let's go about all the detail on the classic party wagon before we get to the minifigures. The classic party wagon has rubber tires and rolls very nicely. When it comes to cartoon accuracy, the classic party wagon set from Mega Bloks is definitely as close as you can get. The classic party wagon set features some very nice detailed windows, some side mirrors, what looks to be some vents on the side, a siren light, some nice looking headlights, the iconic grinding teeth painted on the front bumper, a green sewer lid making up the front piece to the party wagon with the Ninja Turtles logo painted in white to make it pop. Articulated laser cannons for the front. Nice detailed turtle shell design making up the top portion of the party wagon. The iconic spoiler. Articulated doors for the driver's side and the passenger side of the party wagon. A fold down access door for the left side of the party wagon. An access door with a missile launcher on the right side of the party wagon. And finally two folding doors for access into the back of the party wagon. The party wagon has the capacity of fitting five figures in the back and two in the front. 
The top portion of the party wagon can be removed very easily to gain access from the upper portion of the party wagon. On the inside of the party wagon and to the left wall we have a sonar screen with two monitors at the very end with some buttons making up the center. On the right side of the party wagon is a clip area for two additional missiles that will be used for the cannon. The right door on the back of the party wagon has a clip area for Michelangelo's additional skateboard. As for the cannon on the right door of the party wagon, it is articulated, has a nice swivel and a hinge joint to allow up and down movement at the bottom. The missile does fire out of the cannon by pulling on the back of this tab portion. The missile may not be spring powered, but it does have enough firepower to knock down any enemy that's nearby. To reattach the roof to the party wagon, there are four struts that are sticking out at the corner of the party wagon. Simply align the top with it and push down. Assessive force is not needed. Here is a quick 360 look at the three exclusive minifigures from this set. Kicking things off with Michelangelo. The Shredder. And at long last, April O'Neil. This version of the Michelangelo minifigure is pretty similar to its original release, but is done in its proper cartoon colors. Here is a look at the metallic shell for this figure. Once again, Michelangelo comes with his iconic nunchuck weapons, and features one single slice of pizza. The articulation on the Michelangelo minifigure consists of the following with a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, upper elbow swivel, single hinge elbow joint, wrist swivel, ball jointed legs, upper knee swivel, single hinge knees, and finally a swivel cut at the feet. The details on the shredder figure are pretty accurate to the cartoon. This shredder figure also features a very nice soft goods cape that has a nice shimmery effect when in direct sunlight. The shredder figure isn't without its flaws as some of the joints can be very tricky to move on this figure without knocking off the blades on his arms or even the shin guards to his legs. Articulation on the shredder figure consists of the following with a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, upper elbow swivel, single hinged elbows, wrist rotation which is quite hard to work with with the blades here, waist swivel, ball jointed legs, and single hinged knees. The April O'Neil minifigure is pretty much accurate with the nice iconic yellow jumpsuit with the white belt and the white boots. While I give props to Mega Bloks for their nice attention to detail with their minifigures, April O'Neil is lacking unfortunately at the eyes, which causes a bit of a stare. For included accessories, April O'Neil comes with her iconic camcorder, and the iconic turtle com from the cartoon. April O'Neil has no problem holding either one of her accessories. The articulation on the April O'Neil minifigure consists of the following with a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, upper elbow swivel, single hinge joint at the elbows, wrist swivel, waist swivel, ball jointed legs, and single hinge knees. Here's a quick look at Michelangelo's skateboard that comes with this set. There are three ports on the skateboard where Michelangelo's feet can be pegged into place and the minifigure can hold on pretty securely. Here is your brief size comparisons with the three exclusive figures of the party wagon and the Crane Rampage Crane action figure. Please leave your overall thoughts and opinions on this remarkable building set down below in the comments section of the video. And as always, thank you for watching.